Hey everybody, it's me, Yokel, and I'm back with some more Feed the Beast Revelation. Guys, how are you doing today? I am wet. Very, very wet. Raining like the dickens here, so giving me a couple of uh, ideas of what we might do today. But first, what we are going to do, what I'm going to do, I don't know why I say we. I say we like you guys are here with me. I don't know, whatever. I'm sure there's some kind of psychology behind that. But nonetheless, today we, I, we, I... On. <laughs> I was stuck. I'm going to find some feathers. That's the first order of business. Last episode, we made this super cool mantle. Whoa! Did I get a feather? No. We made this super cool mantle that has Visio on it, which allows us to fly like... Ugh. Fly. Hello. <laughs> well, we're off to a roaring start today, aren't we? Uh, this allows us to fly, kind of like we have an Elytra. And apparently I'm not very good at that, so let's try it. Uh Ah, uh, ah, uh, that was weird. Okay, I kind of bounced like that. But nonetheless, I can fly like I have an Elytra. Just trust me on this. What I want to make next is I want to make a wand with Visio on it, or the Visio wand. And that will launch us into the sky. And those two things combine together quite nicely. So I just need, let's see, I have three feathers back at the base. And if I recall correctly, I need six feathers, I think. So I'm just poking around out here looking for some chickens. Yeah, chicky, 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 chicky. Let's see, where, where are we going? We're going east? Yeah. want to try to go the just one direction <laughs> so I can find my waypoint. Well, I guess I guess I can always turn my, my waypoint back on. Um, nonetheless, I am also keeping an eye out for sunflowers. That's right, sunflowers, the big tall ones. I want to bring some back to my base. They are a good source of yellow dye, and they are going to help me deal with the rain. As, as you guys may know, I really, really dislike the rain. <laughs> and, you know, and funny, in real life, I love the rain. I live in a very rainy climate, and, I, and kind of on purpose. And like today is gray and cool and rainy, and oh, it's just amazing. It's wonderful. I... Uh, I kind of want to go outside and work in my yard a little bit. But first, we're going to do some Minecraft. Before we do any serious stuff around here, we like to get our playing out of the way. So that's what we're doing here. Oh, look at you guys. Uh, do I have... Um, hang on a second here. I want to try something. Yeah, there we go. Hey, guys! Chicken party. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Come here. I'm going to show you guys my sword. Check this out. Whoa! <laughs> All right. So do we get... Four. So, okay, we have exactly six now with the six, seven. I don't remember. Okay, we have somewhere around six now. I think I'll just see, you know, are there any other chickens around here that might want to donate to the cause? I've come across these before. I'm always scared to go down in them. <laughs> you can reach the chest from up here. It's probably just fine. I'm just a coward. I just stand up here and I, and I loot them. You got this is a structure from Roots 2, uh, a mod that I am barely familiar with at all. <gasps> you hear it? I heard it. Hello, Mr. Polly Parrot. Oh, and the skeletons. Oh, it's the parrot. <laughs> the parrot sounding like a skeleton. How funny. <laughs> and a little zombie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where are you, dude? I need you. You must come live in my house. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness, man. Three seeds. I don't, it's never going to happen. Never going to happen. M mustn't give up. Mustn't give up hope, though. Oh, there we go. Ooh, yeah. an apple. I get there. Yeah. Hi, buddy? You my pal? Nope. Come on. <gasps> yes! Oh, man. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Oh, no. Don't know. I'm up here. I'm up here. You can do it. Job. Oh, he's on my shoulder. <gasps> Sweet. All right. Hello, mateys, yar, yar, tis I, yokul. I'm a vampire pirate now. My life is complete. All right, and here we are, safe and sound back at the base. 
my door. There we go. Hello, Mr. Parrot. Oh, are you just going to get pushed out of my base? Are you just, you just going to get pushed out? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> All right, here. I got a place for you, bud. Don't worry. So uh, when I moved the the, uh, the 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 uh, the workshop, when I moved the workshop with the builder, I had to do something with our inaugural tree. So I moved it over here. One up here, man. There we go. All right, sit right there. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. Oh yeah, Dawn of the Parrot. Um, let's see. Let's give him a little light here, maybe. Lighting. There we go. Awesome. Oh, hail parrot. Do I need to name him? Will he stick around if I if I don't name him? Uh, let's see. Do I have a name tag? I don't think I do. Mm, nope. All right. Well, we're just going to roll the dice. We're just going to have to take our chances with him uh, not going anywhere. So let's see. Let's get rid of some of this garbage out of my bags, and then I'll, be, uh, get, I'll get on with the getting on here. All right, it is time to do the wand. So let's see, we got six of those. Let's see, what else we're we gonna need for the Visio wand? Let's hang on. One, two, three, four, six feathers, four aquamarines, two arrows, and two sugar canes. Oh wait a minute, it needed one more thing too, didn't it? Let's see, it needed a resonating wand in the middle of it. So we're gonna need uh, two more uh, aquamarines and two. Three, two or three uh, marble, I think it's two, and an ender pearl. Ooh, wow, that's my only one. All right, so first thing we need to make is the uh, resonating wand. So that is, yeah, it's two, two pieces of marble. There we go. I just realized this thing is not projecting onto here. Um, I wonder if that's just a visual bug. Well, let's, let's get this thing uh, set up here because we should have enough... Um, should have enough starlight in here to do it during the day if that is actually working and if it's not then um, I think I have to re-log actually to get it to work so let's hustle here and see what happens um, so this thing is full of starlight it looks like it just got a little visual bug here for some reason it's not projecting the 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 little beam down onto here right <laughs> oh sorry you're waiting on me let's see we got to put a feather in here uh, the nice thing about this particular altar, the iridescent altar, uh, unlike the previous altars, that uh, if we should happen to run out of starlight while we're in the middle of crafting this, it'll just pause our progress and it'll pick up again later once it has enough starlight. Unlike the other altars, if you run out of starlight while you're in the middle of a, a, a ritual then, or a crafting ritual, then uh, you're, you're out of luck. You have to start over with the starlight on the next one. All right, here we go. Now we wait. This will be a good time for you guys to have a sip of coffee. That's what I'm going to do. Or if you're not a coffee drinker, uh, you're, drink some water. Stay hydrated. And there we go. We have our resonating Visio wand. Um, and we can actually use it in place of our regular resonating wand. So I think that we can go put this one over here. And stash it and save it for whatever wand we want to make next uh, which actually let's take a look there is another wand that I would like to make probably all of them eventually uh, but is it this one yeah this one the uh, Avatos wand is essentially lets you float it basically puts a little solid star field underneath you while you're in the sky so if you're standing still in the sky you won't fall which is another way of saying floating uh, we need Prisma Marine, Prisma Marine Crystals, however, and, uh, oh, I have those. Okay, well, hang on a second. Let's, let's see here. While we're making wands, let's just go crazy. So, four sugar canes, powder, and that stuff. Okay, so I got those. Watch, I don't have enough sugar cane. <laughs> I've got exactly enough sugar cane. Awesome. Um, what else do we need? We needed six saplings. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Uh, these two on the side might need to be different varieties, so let's grab two just just in case. And we can use this resonating wand for the base. Still got it? You still got it? Okay, so let's see. Can I remember? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> it is. Okay. Yeah. Illumination powder. And yeah, there we go. Okay. Woo! Gonna wand it up. And then we're gonna check them out. 
And there we go. Dos Wandos. All right, so let's, first of all, let's check out, uh, well, first of all, let's recap. So we've got our Mantle of Stars uh, tuned to Visio, which allows us to fly like we have an Elytra on. Yes. <laughs> and that is how I fly when I have an Elytra on. Poorly. There we go. Now we have this wand. Uh, hi, I just want to... Oh, don't you do it. Hmm. I'm going to sharpen this sword up next. All right, so now we have... This is the Visio wand. Yes, it's kind of the lightish blue one. So how we use this one, from what I understand, is we, we pull it back like a bow and then release and... Oh, there we go. And we're flying. No, we're not. Oh, yeah. Right. We got to fly. <laughs> okay, so that's what happens when you don't use your mantle of Visio. And here's what happens. You do. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Woo! Awesome. So, if you guys play vanilla and you have an Elytra and fireworks, this is pretty much the same thing, except that uh, I don't have an Elytra. I have on armor. And I don't have... Fireworks that are going to run out. I have a wand. And there we go. And look at that. Yay! Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, so let's check out this one then. Um, do I have to... Do I have to push a button? I don't. Ooh! Oh, this one's... Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. Why didn't that work? Oh, no, I landed on it. What? Okay, hang on a second. Oh, wait a minute. Do they disappear? Uh, How does this work? Do I have like a certain amount of time that I can do it? Hmm. I don't see any like indicators that says you're running out of time. Let's see, I went backwards and I fell that last time. That's not it. So I look up. Look up. Oh. Oh, oh and I can jump. Oh, <laughs> look, I'm pillaring up on nothing. Oh, well, wow, guys. Okay, these wands are my new favorite thing. All right, so let's see. I assume if I duck. No? Okay. I'm not sure how I fell off of that earlier. Okay, guys. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly amused. I'm having... Uh, I really enjoy this. This is really nice. <laughs> I'm walking in the sky. I'm now jumping in the sky. Uh, yeah. All right. Wow. Mobility. I am mo mobilitled. mo mobilitled. Uh, I'm assuming once I let go of this thing. Yep, there we go. And that's why we have an Elytra on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, all right. Well, let's see if I accomplish anything else this episode. <laughs> Does it involve flying? Then I'll do it. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. All right, guys. Well, there's uh, even more reasons to love Astral Sorcery. Um, tons of fun. Tons of fun there. Uh, let's see. Where am I going to carry this? You know, what if I put this in my offhand? It work then? Oh, it works then! <laughs> and if I put this one in this hand? <laughs> That's awesome! Yay! Launch myself and catch myself before I wreck myself. Oh, but it looks a little, just, a little buggy there. All right. So, cool. Uh, totally overpowered uh, wands. I love them. The next thing that I want to do is I want to start working on some Botania stuff. So I'm just going to go around the base here. I'm going to collect the Botania flowers that I have. See where I'm at. And let's see. I think I'm going to need that guy. I'm going to see where I'm at as far as Botania flowers go. And then I'm going to have to make some floral fertilizer, I'm pretty sure, to uh, make up the difference. I've got a few flowers here. Not a lot, though. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got half of the flowers. There's 16 flowers in total. I've got eight of them. So I'm going to need to make floral fertilizer to produce the rest of the colors that we need. And um, for that, I need, uh, well, there's a couple ways I can do it. I can use uh, floral powder, floral color powder from these petals, or I can just use red and yellow flowers, vanilla flowers to make, uh, make them. Combine it with bow mill and you make them. And that's what I want to do. And for that, what I want to do is I want to go find a sunflower. Um, I actually need a sunflower for another thing that I want to do today. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off and search for a sunflower to complement this red flower. And then and if you guys don't know, and you probably do, because this is a vanilla mechanic. If you take bone meal to these tall vanilla flowers, you can get another one off of it like that. And so that's how we're going to make our red and our yellow dyes. We're just going to mass produce them like that. Sunflowers 
grow in like plainsy, rolling hilly type areas. So like these light greenish areas might be a good place to look. So I think I will go north by north by northeast. Oh. <laughs> I can't actually fly with the converse, the other wand in my hand. <laughs> okay, noted. <laughs> put, put it there then. Yep. <laughs> yep, takes me right out of flight. Nope, not sunflowers. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. Oh, there's some orange flowers, which I don't have. I think, did I have these? I don't remember having light, light green ones like that. Uh, <laughs> by the time I find sunflowers, I might have collected all of the Botania colors, which I guess that would be all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Danger zone! Oh, wow. Any of you get uh, nauseous or uh, motion sick, I, I do apologize. I hope you have a bucket handy. Got a little chunk generation party going on over here. So I'm just gonna. Oh, I see him! You see him? Oh, I see. I see. I see shrines. I see sunflowers. Hey, there they are, coming in for a landing. Nice, soft, gentle landing there. Thanks for flying air yokel. I don't need all of them, but I'm going to take all of them. By golly, I looked this hard for him. Ooh, you chickens. Oh, poor. Hooray, sunflowers. All right. Thread the needle. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> a little slow there. All right. Cool. Look at We got our sunflowers. So what does that mean for you, gentle viewer? Well, I'm going to tell you. Probably just a little bit more waiting while I do some stuff here. Now I'm going to take a, an inventory of my colors. So lots of reds, browns. Looks like we're missing regular green and black. Regular green and black. So... Uh, good news is that I don't think we need those uh, just yet, so that's 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 good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make up some bone meal here. Uh, I probably don't really need to explain any of this to you guys. Um, if you've ever played modded Minecraft, <laughs> you've almost certainly encountered Botania and have worked through at least this basic initial. Uh, getting started step, but uh, for those of you who haven't, I'm going to show you what you can do to increase the amount of petals. So petals are one of your main crafting ingredients in Botania, uh, at least for starting out. So I've planted the petals, and you can tell they're planted because there's these little sparkly things, and there's kind of a kind of a somewhat uh, legible tooltip. And then I'm just going to bone meal them, and then I have to use shears. You don't use shears to knock down the tall botania flowers it just breaks them you don't actually get uh any flowers off of them and then i craft them that gives me more petals that i can then plant and so on and so forth so there we go all right oh and look see what i did i just i broke them all down i didn't get anything that's what happens when you're talking and you're not paying attention Psst, hey you want to know something i'm an idiot I do not know what happened, guys. I don't know what happened, but somehow I stopped recording. <laughs> Ironically, right after I was talking about how I was talking and not paying attention. So I'm going to recap real quick for you guys what happened while uh, while I was recording, while I wasn't recording. So uh, I started Botania. Um, fortunately, that's all I really did. You guys have probably seen it before, so you probably didn't miss too much. I made the pure white daisies out of our white petals that I was growing there at the uh, the, the last bit of video that I actually successfully recorded. That allowed me to make living wood, made me allowed me to make living rocks. Hey, you guys mind? is not exactly been stellar moment for me here. Um, and then that allowed me to get some botania started, which is what's going on over here. I've got endo flames. They were eating coal that was being uh, spit out of this. 
um, precision dropper. And then what I did with the resulting mana is I made, I'll show you. I made mana weave, mana weave cloth. So I took string, threw that into the mana pool, made it into infused string that made mana weave. The mana weave plus the sunflowers that I hunted down allowed me to make Teru Teru Bozu! Yay! Teru Teru Bozu is a, uh, a friendly little ghost. He's uh, based on a real Japanese folklore. Uh, farmers would put these out on their farms to ward off bad weather. And Teru Teru Bozu in the game does pretty much the exact same thing. He, he's, uh, he's happy right now. Come on now. Come back around here. Let's show everybody how happy you are. You're happier than I am. I can't believe, guys. I, I, seriously, um... It's been over 30 minutes. <laughs> I lost I lost almost 40 minutes of footage. Fortunately, it was boring Batania setup stuff. You didn't miss anything. I'm sure I said something terribly hilarious, though, so the world will never know. All right, here's Terra Terra Bozu. You see how happy he is? You know, he's happy because the weather's nice right now. If it starts to rain, though, he's got a big, sad frown on his face. What you can do, though, is you give him a sunflower, and it perks him right up, and he stops the rain. And that's what I'm hoping this little contraption will do right here. Uh, what we've got is we've got Terra Terra Bozu. I've got a sunflower right here next to him. Right above him is a vanilla dispenser filled with bone meal. And the key to all of it right here on top is the rain sensor from Draconic Evolution, which is a very, very cheap rain sensor to make. You need cobble and a little bit of stone, a bucket, and that's like pretty much it. Oh, redstone, a little piece of redstone. So what's gonna happen, hopefully, is when it rains, that detector will send a signal to the dispenser. The dispenser will dispense a piece of bone meal. The bone meal will make a sunflower grow, because you can do that with these tall flowers. Uh, yeah, bone meal. You can do that with these tall flowers. And then hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the sunflower will bounce over and Terra Terra Bozu will grab it and he'll make the rain go away. Now, what I don't know is if he has to be hit like directly with it or if he can kind of grab ones that are like right around him. Um, there's a good chance that the sunflower will pop off in this direction that, uh, you know, that way towards me. In which case I could either put a block here to try to keep that from happening. Or I could just put another Terra Terra Bozu right here. So I'm going to have to monitor that and, uh, and uh, see what happens. So guys, that is all the time I have for today, though, I'm afraid. I was uh, wrapping up my last, uh, last attempt at recording the video when I realized that it was no longer recording. I was saying my goodbyes. Goodbye! Oh, sorry, Taro. <laughs> I'm a menace. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys learned something. I'm... Uh, to apologize for the uh, the jarring cut in the video that is no doubt going to do uh, take place between me uh, growing those petals and then suddenly being done with Batania. <laughs> so if you guys want to know more about any of my setups or the, like the endo flame over there or have any questions about uh, what I did, just let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. Oh, and one more thing, actually, before I go, let's see, how do I do this? Somebody asked for the seed to this world. So there it is. Negative three, seven, five, four, five, one, five, seven, two, two, seven, nine, four, nine, seven, five, one, seven, five. Feel free to pause that and you guys can play along with me here in this uh, very same land mass. And uh, yeah, there you go. So I hope you guys have a great day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Feed the beast. Revelation. Yoku.